If you think about it, even plants are living organisms. So, are you taking consent from the plant before eating them? The difference is, this is eating and that is a physical. It's, it's the same thing. It's a difficult question. If you think about it from Shivam's perspective, Shivam the chicken's perspective, would you say it's abuse? Darshini would like to ask you that if you see someone abusing a stray dog, what would be your reaction to that? Imagine someone hitting a stray dog with a stick. What would be your reaction to that? I would definitely oppose them because I've been in this situation before and uh, there was this place near my house where a guy just hit the stray dogs just because uh, it was coming inside the place where people were walking and I had to stand there and oppose to that guy. Okay. It was really bad that time. What do you think of people who participate in animal abuse? That's just sad. Uh, I don't think people should do that. Yeah. yeah, it's... I don't understand why they do it. I guess if it's self-defense, then it's a different story. No, it's but not a self-defense. Yeah. Then, then, then it's cruel. <laughs> it's pure cruel. I don't see yeah. the point of doing it. First thing is we'll try to stop them first. If this is continuing kind of pretty seriously, mm. I'll have to go for a legal action or someone. I'll try to complain the local authorities or anyone. Mm. We have to stop that, to be honest. How did you feel about yourself when you intervened in that situation? I felt like I should be there for the dogs which are strays because I too have a dog at home and I love dogs. So stray dogs are something we have to take care of. Yeah. That's very heroic of you because you intervened in that situation. Actually, I would always do it. I'd be angry. Okay. Abusing any life form is yeah. not right. Yeah. Okay. And why, like... Just to ask you, why do you say like abusing any life form is not right? It, it's, it's simple, you're causing pain to somebody, so you shouldn't be doing that. Would like to know, what do you think of people who indulge in animal abuse? Uh, firstly, abuse in any sort, whether it's animal or when it comes to children or like your partner. Mm. I think abuse comes with a form of a lot of aggression or yeah. anger, whatever is like, um, it, which is like cooped up in their minds. Mm. So I think one important thing is if you actually see someone who is potential to abuse an animal mm -hmm. or a person, mm. they need to get help. Okay. They are supposed to get help. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So they, I'm sorry, yeah, you can continue. No, 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 it's okay. Yeah, they're supposed to know how to organize their thoughts, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. specifically, and yeah. I think uh, getting help, like talking to a shrink or something is, like, really important. I loved your choice of words. You said pain, and essentially, you should not cause pain and suffering to someone who's capable of feeling pain and suffering, right? So, glad to know that, and what do you have to say about people who indulge in abusing others? I think they need to seek help. Uh, they are... I don't know, as a person, they are not in the right frame of mind. Mm. Probably that is why they take such steps mm. and yeah, they need to get some help. Most of the time what I have seen is, uh, for the sake of, you know, doing, the, what do you say, for the sake of video, this fun, they do it. Uh, you see, what should I say about such nuisance people, man? No words. I don't want to sp speak about them also, no words. Simple. I don't want to talk about them also. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's completely unacceptable. Yeah, that makes no sense to me, like why yeah. someone would do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just horrible. I, I, think, I think they do it because they derive some sort of pleasure out of it. But then do you think it's justified to do it? I mean, if that's the reason, then it's definitely not justified. And when you say that they need to seek some help, essentially they need to first realize that what they are doing is wrong that's first step and second step then refrain from doing such activities that's correct so couple of uh, keywords there when you said people do it out of anger right like when people are angry then they participate in abuse not, not always but you know some people are sadistic or psychotic but most of the cases i think are yeah. out of anger or, or out of frustration or maybe yeah. a displaced anger they're yeah. like angry about something else yeah. and they just get irritated by yeah. something and like they do it so it can be anger also and sometimes it can be out of uh, sadistic pleasure also yes yes yeah. or let's just say pleasure form like pleasure yes, is one way yes. where people participate in abuse, yes, right? Yes, that's that's inhuman, but yeah. That, that's inhuman. Yeah. And and you said such people need help in the sense that they need to talk to someone so that they can organize their thought and see that what they are doing is abuse and then refrain from doing it. Yes, like a therapist or a shrink. I hope you're doing fine. Can I ask you like two more questions? Sure. sure. No yeah. Um, do you think that people like us, and when I say us, I, I'm talking about us in the sense that we are compassionate about other animals. 
But even then, do you think people like us sometimes participate in animal cruelty out of ignorance? Out of ignorance? Yeah. Oh, I don't get you, sorry. Out of ignoran in ignorance? Um, I don't know what you mean by that. Does it mean that you're killing a mosquito? Next question is a, a, a kind of a difficult question, but I'll just ask you. Do, do you think you participate in animal abuse in any way? Um, not that I remember of. Okay. I mean, no. I do think that because, uh, see, uh, since I'm a non-vegetarian, animal does not just include dogs. There are a lot of animals as well. So we do have a lot of meat as well. So okay. that is also somehow a part of uh, abuse, animal abuse, I feel. Yeah. I would try to cut down on meat though. Yeah. So, yeah. Why would you try to cut down? Because, uh, see, there was this uh, situation where I just quit meat because I saw a pig getting abused yeah. in slaughterhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know you, you just live with non-veg for a very long time and you just, you just, you can't live without food, non-veg, non-vegetarians, yeah. So. Do you consume uh, chickens by any chance? Yes. Yes. Uh, Killing a mosquito, I would still say the survival act because yeah. they are trying, they are, they are attacking us. So it's an act of self-defense, I would say. But let's take an example of consuming chickens. No, I'm a vegetarian and that is why I choose to be a vegetarian because oh, wow. I do not like killing a life form to eat. Um, yeah, I wouldn't enjoy that. So, so es essentially you're saying you're an ethical vegetarian because you chose not to participate in animal cruelty. That's true, yeah. I was a non-vegetarian few years ago, but then I switched to being a vegetarian. Wow, that's that's really nice to know and I can relate because I was a non-vegetarian as well. Let's think of a chicken's life, right? They are first bred into existence under constrained situations and then they are kept in terrible conditions, right? They can barely move. Uh, they are given a very restrictive diet the purpose of which is to make them fat as soon as possible and eventually they are killed. So let's assume let's assume the name of the chicken. Let's say the name of the chicken is Shivam, right? And if you think about it from Shivam's perspective, Shivam the chicken's perspective, would you say it's abuse? Well, it certainly sounds like it if they're actually suffering. So that's abuse only, right? Yeah, sure, why not? Now let me ask you a question. Um, so you're talking about chickens, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a question. Yeah. Uh, what other purpose does chicken have? Like, that's my question. Before me consuming chicken, whatever the chicken goes through mm -hmm. uh, to um, uh, naturally become healthy, or or if if the way it is killed is torturous, that is abuse. But however, uh, when it comes to um, different ways. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know what I mean because I, I come from a small town okay in small town where we consume animals like uh, some do and some do not which town if I may ask I am from Kakinara okay, yes it's in Andhra Pradesh yeah, yeah I know it's popular for refining the oil uh, drilling centers yes right. yes <laughs> yeah so uh, you know it's just like part of being in a food cycle however like killing them in the most torturous way that's bad that's abuse i say but even let's let's assume that the chicken that you are referring to and let's name that chicken hasita so there are two chickens one is shivam the other is hasita okay so shivam is kept in a in a in a very gruesome condition right but hasita on the other hand is kept in a relatively nicer way right but eventually still killed against her own will would you would you not say that is abuse yeah, that could be. Yeah. Hmm. And and, and I'm, the reason I'm saying this to think from the chicken's perspective. I, I can totally relate to that. I'm from a Bengali family, hardcore non-vegetarian. But uh, like you said, you saw a footage of a pig in a slaughterhouse. I saw live. Live, okay. And um, then I just realized that how can I call myself compassionate if my choices are directly yeah, resulting into abuse and murder? Yeah. 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 No, so so uh, okay. No, so I, I, so what is your thought on that? Like, if you think that we are directly participating in such abusive activities, don't you think that we should first and foremost refrain yeah, from? It. Yeah. Actually, I do feel that it's first where we have to take our first steps towards this, yeah. and we should also try educating other people yeah, yeah. on about this, all this, okay. and yeah, that's it. Yeah. So in your case, for example, because you seem someone who's very open-minded and initiated, you already know about. Uh, the connection between the food on your plate and its source, right? Yeah. So, do you think you will take any steps to 
change your actions? I would actually stop meat for life. Okay. I have a plan of that, but not as of now. But I would definitely do it in future, one or the other day. And when you say purpose, so I'll I'll try to fine tune your thought there as well. Sure. When you think of purpose, you are thinking from what purpose is an animal serving to human? Not to human, to the nature. What purpose does a dog have? Okay, dog has a purpose of protection. Okay, so Who if you think about it. It does protect humans, and so that, so, so that yeah, purpose yeah, is tied yeah. to human only, right? Sure, but the dog, dog didn't choose to, yeah, to. It's it's loyal. You, if you think about it, dog does have a certain level of thought process. I guess I don't know. I don't support so, you know animal abuse, but mm -hmm. uh, if you think about it, if so, if someone is killing an animal mm -hmm. just for the sake of it, just for the sake of killing it, okay. that's not justified. If they're eating it, I don't know. I have mixed opinions on that. Okay. So that's my opinion at the end okay, of the day. Okay. Yeah. But whether I'm killing the animal and then leaving the animal on the street. That's sad. That's sad. Yeah. But if I'm killing the animal, and everything. Eating it. Then I'm eating it. That's I justified. I guess that's fine. I guess I don't know. Think like about said, it. It's mixed opinions on that topic. No, think but, about it, but. but that's, okay, because if you think about it, lions do kill uh, yeah. uh, some other animals yeah. and they eat them. Yeah. So is that animal abuse from lions? And however, then I came to learn about the dairy industry. Do you happen to know about the dairy industry? I do know, um, and I do know the concept of vegan uh, veganism, yeah, yeah. but I'm not there yet. I yeah, I like dairy products right now, so I'm just. No, but do you know like uh, uh, the animals in the dairy industry? They are also subjected to a lot of abuse. Yes, I do. Yeah. That is something that I've learned of late. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Like what all did you learn about it? Um, poultry farming, uh, you know, milking, um, I don't know, giving them some medicines yeah, to get yeah, more yeah, milk yeah, and all of that. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I think that that is something that uh, I would see doing in the future. Yeah. But right now, yeah, one step at a time. Yeah. Glad to know that. And I'll just take like one minute to explain the dairy industry, the Indian dairy industry. Like you said earlier, they are there for their own existence. Let them be. Like we are not the supreme power on earth in the sense that we don't get to decide how others will live with us, exactly. right? Yeah. Even within human groups also we have tried that. Now when you think from our perspective there can be multiple reasons. Some of them can be like culture, tradition, food habits and all of that, right? But abuse is always seen from the victim's perspective, right? Yes, I completely agree with that. Yeah. Let's take an example of a lion and a deer. Sure. So when a lion is hungry, it attacks the deer. Yeah, de attacks the deer. Sure. From deer's perspective, it is animal abuse, no yeah. denying, right? Yeah. Because abuse is always right. thought from the victim's perspective. Sure. Now, why is a lion killing a deer? Right. Because it's a carnivore. And huh. the lion's survival need depends yeah. on it, right? So similar basis. Let's say you're locked in a room with yeah, yeah. Uh, a chicken, let's say, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's no other thing that you can yeah. eat. It's a very abusive process, right? It is, yeah. And uh, that's that's why I, I told about myself, I was a non-vegetarian once, then I became vegetarian, but then I come to learn about the dairy industry and I realized that if I'm choosing to be an ethical vegetarian, then it doesn't make any sense because it's an oxymoron, right? Because even as a vegetarian, I'm consuming dairy products and then they are subjected to all of this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just that we don't know about it. Like, for example, in your case, you did not know about it. And that's why I used the term ignorance earlier, because I was also ignorant about it, because we are not taught about such issues, right? And that's when I decided to become, you used the term earlier, vegan, right? And vegan is not just a diet, which people think it is like non-vegetarian, vegetarian, vegan. Ve veganism is a philosophy of life where we believe that animals are not commodities for human use. <laughs> so, so what's going on in your mind right now with this completely different perspective? I think I need like a minute or maybe like a half a day to think or something. So essentially what I'm doing right now is what you referred to earlier that people need, they need, like abusers need to talk to someone and organize their thought and see what abuse is. So I am Shivam, an animal rights activist, right? And the objective of such conversation is to show or make people realize that what we do may be out of ignorance, but what we do is an abuse only, right? Yes. 
But let me think about it. I, I am going to think about it. Even I shall organize my thoughts yeah, yeah. and think. Future means you have you have given yourself a deadline, like yeah, at least like in a two three year span. It'll take time because you have been practicing eating meat for a very long time. So it'll take time to cut down as well. So yeah. A slightly difficult question. Yes. That like, do you think you would have given the same answer if the victim would have been a human? Uh, I wouldn't. Yeah, because humans are generally, I feel, are cruel in this world right now a lot. But and you would if you came to know that you would, you are participating in human cruelty in any form, you will stop yourself immediately, right? Yes, definitely. There are a lot of human cruelty as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are evil actually nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Then why would you say that you will take time, like two, three years, for animals? That's because uh, I wouldn't even in human in the oh yeah right. Right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because see, we haven't eaten humans yeah, yeah. yet yeah, yeah, yeah. to cut it down. In yeah, yeah, yeah. physical abuse is different from eating something, and we've been, uh, in the sense, uh, okay, is it human? You don't eat them. You, in the sense, you said, said humans yeah, are. Yeah, I, I gave you an hypothetical example, oh. but but what I'm saying is that do you think that somewhere, even though we are saying we are compassionate, but still we are uh, creating some sort of bias here because it's an animal. The victim yeah. is an animal, so we are saying that we'll stop, we'll we'll stop after two three years. Yeah. Or to give you a more realistic example, let's say we have a common friend. Let's call her Neha, okay? And uh, we come to know that Neha is abused by her husband on a daily basis. What are we going to wish for Neha for that abuse to stop right now, or are we going to say to her husband that hey, you have been doing it for a really long time, so take your time, phase it out in a couple of years? What you okay? I'll tell you. I'll yeah, clearly yeah. tell you. You are saying about the physical abuse, like yeah, yeah. any form of abuse. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's not directly linked to me, yeah, yeah. the Neha and her husband yeah, yeah. one. But the animal one is directly linked to me, and uh, not just uh, dogs, but in general, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the food items. We've been eating it from very yeah. long, so cutting it down also will take time. No, I'm 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 comparing the husband who has been abusing, let's say, her for ten years, that right? We'll do it as soon as possible because. Uh, the difference is this is eating and that is a physical. It's it's the same thing. It's a difficult question. I know, I know. So so I'll I'll, I'll not I'll not pester you much. So I'll introduce myself now. Okay. I'm Shivam, an animal rights activist. Wow. I was a non-vegetarian, then I became vegetarian, then I quit all forms of animal abuse How and long? use three years now. Okay. Yeah. That's great. And the objective of such conversation is to nudge people to think about this. I used to think of myself someone who is compassionate and kind, and then someone questioned me that how can you call yourself compassionate or kind if you are participating in animal abuse? And then I came up with a lot of reasons like habit. I'm from a Bengali family, so culture, tradition, food practices, and all of that, right? But when I organized my thought, I'll use that term, and I. Kept going through multiple uh, arguments, and I realized that in today's day and age, there is no survival need for me to actually abuse an animal. It's the ultimate solution. I know veganism is one. Yeah. Are there any laws coming yeah. uh, against it? Yeah. So that's a very good question. So veganism is the bottom-up approach, right? When a when a change is happening at an individual level, and having a law is a top-down approach. When does a top-down approach come comes into picture? Only when enough number of people talk about it and highlight that this is an injustice which needs to stop. If enough number of people turn vegan and then more and more people talk about it, then it will translate into law. Because if you think about it, legality is always followed by morality. The starting step is for people like us to change things which are directly in our control. It's it's a difficult thought process. It's called speciesism. Which essentially means discriminating on the basis of species, right? Nothing different from if from the oppressor mindset. Nothing different from racism, yeah, casteism, right, right, right. right? We are drawing a line so, as per our convenience, and people or people or the group on the other side of the line is used or Actually, abused yeah, by us, right, right? right? And that's why I asked you that question because my only request to you is to think on this direction more, right? Yeah. This will actually make me think a lot more, yeah. And I'm really happy about people like yeah. you. So yeah, even I think even I need to comprehend everything. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much, Hasita, for saying that that you will uh, spend time from your side. And, and do you think you will consider going vegan in future? Probably yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So if you think about it, uh, in certain cultures they eat humans as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
and that is part of their culture they have been doing it they might have done it one time because of survival instinct so is it justified now so it's really hard when you question someone's culture right or a religion or something. if you think about it even plants are living organisms so are you taking consent from the plant before eating them depending on what kind of work you do you have certain nutritional requirement so to fulfill that if you're eating certain group of food which may be vegan or animals or let's say you are eating avocados right yeah. so it gets imported from very very far away yeah. you agree yeah. so how is it imported through flights yeah, yeah. so the amount of carbon em carbon emission is very high yeah, yeah. so you are harming the environment yeah, yeah. so environment is harm like environment being harm will have a huge impact on every other person living on the planet yeah. so you are also harming the planet yeah. by being a vegan yeah, yeah. my my statement is that any sentient being who is a sentient being who is capable of feeling pain and suffering any sentient being who is capable of feeling pain and suffering should not be subjected to abuse and that's where i'm drawing the line and that's a consistent line that's a consistent line right i'll not be a casteist because people of all caste are sentient being i'll not be a racist because people of all race are sentient being i'll not be an animal abuser because all animals are sentient beings i guess you got a point there mm. that line is variable by the way let's say i change your opinion with certain point which you agree with right yeah, yeah. Okay. so it's a very no i i don't have a point right now